have this seam that comes down the middle on the, the anterior side. And this is the intraventricular artery, or the fourth sulcus, that's going to house the intraventricular artery, which we can't really see. But it's a nice little seam. It kind of looks like a sash on a pageant. Miss America. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> This is a Miss America heart. So this one is nice because you can open it right back up. The left side is this real big thick side, consistent over here. So we're used to looking at the heart like this, so we'll just go ahead and do that. Thick wall indicates left ventricle. So left ventricle, this is going to be left atrium. This flappy thing that looks like an ear is the auricle. You can kind of, you know, Put your finger in there and realize, oh, this is just reserve space in case extra blood comes in. This is going to be the right ventricle on this side, a little bit collapsed. And the right atrium is not real great, but you can definitely see the auricle here and how there's extra space. And some of the pectinate. Mm -hmm. Well, the atrium's gone. It's probably on this side. Um, but this is definitely the auricle with pectinate muscles in there. So... Now that we've identified the chambers, we can identify the um, valves. So this is the left side. So bicuspid valve, also known as mitral, with the nice chordae tendinae. The muscles that they attach to are the papillary muscles. These look okay. This one looks better because you can see that it's all myocardium, like all this meaty stuff <laughs> is the muscle. And when it projects up into the ventricle, like it does here, it's called a papillary muscle. And of course it's attached too. Um, on this right side, we're looking at the right tricuspid valve. It's been ripped a little bit, but that's okay. And the cords are here and they're nice and tough. Um, interventricular septum. And this serving as part of the ventricular wall contributing to left side and right side. It's pretty thick as well because it does a lot of work. From the left side, the left ventricle is going to pump blood into the aorta. So it's pretty much right here. We know it's the aorta. We can travel from the ventricle up there. And the walls are really thick and durable. And they feel like that industrial rubber band. Um, you can see a nice aortic semilunar valve there as well. And this is real thin, um, but still durable. Like I can pull on it and it's not going to rip off. Aorta is going to go up. Some hearts will have the brachiocephalic and common carotid arteries that spout from there, but you're not going to have to do this sort of thing on the practical. <laughs> did your finger? Did your finger come out of there? No, that's the point. <laughs> it could. It's right there. Okay, so that was okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted. This is an, a really pretty good-looking pulmonary trunk. It's not real clear that it come that the right ventricle attaches to it, but I can always tell, well, I can tell usually on the front side you see a diagonal, there it is, a diagonal big vessel, and that's the pulmonary trunk that's going to divide and go out to the lungs. Where's and, you know, it's the big one that's not the aorta. <laughs> is it always below the aorta? Do you look at the opening? Yeah, like this is... Aortic, part of the aortic arch. Mm -hmm. This may or may not be attached. Like it's gar pretty guaranteed that you'll see an aorta. You may or may not see a pulmonary trunk. Um, on this side, it's basically a mirror image. Here's more of the aorta, the other side of the semilunar valve here. I did see a pulmonary semilunar valve on one of these other hearts. This one, this one. So, left ventricle. This is going to be aorta, sem aortic semilunar valve. Aorta in here. Here is part of the pulmonary trunk. So this is a weird um, dissection, but it allows us to see if this is pulmonary trunk and there's a valve attached. It's going to be a semilunar valve mm -hmm. as well. So. It's knowing where you are, traveling to the right spot, and finding the valve that you would expect to see. 
um, features that are real clear on this heart, like the chordae tendinae, this bicuspid valve. You can see kind of this tree trunk in here that's part of the pectinate muscles of the auricle, that left atrium. Mm, not really good papillary muscles did I like from this one. Do know that, you know, I could put a heart there that the left side is not on the left side. So this is the left ventricle on this side. This is a nice papillary muscle coming up. So that would be bicuspid valve, pectinate muscles in there looking like tree charts. Pectinate muscles pretty long. Right? Yeah, and really on these sheep pig hearts, we're only seeing two or three of those papillaries. And not, you know, I'm not going to make you imagine a papillary. It'll be a nice big one. The trabeculae, so this is the right ventricle, look like tree trunks in the bottom part of the ventricle. And so these don't project into the space of the ventricle. They just kind of line it. So I, I'm not even sure that you have to know trabeculae for the there. Ooh. Here's another pulmonary trunk, pulmonary valves. So even though they're not on every heart, we've seen two here. And I think that's all we really need to know. Article. And.